shattered. Take the weight off. Nice. It's a handy chair. Oh, I mean, yep, back out. A little after work trip up in the uh, local local hills. 20 past 6. See, I've got a job tomorrow at Wooler um, at that distillery again. So I've got to be there early in the morning. I have to be there for 8 o'clock. And because of the way the traffic was, I went up yesterday and I, got, I didn't get there after half nine because of the traffic and just, oh, it was a nightmare. So killing two birds here, getting a wild camp in, midweek wild camp, and I'll be down tomorrow. I'll be down early and then I can get up there. I'm only about 10 mile, if that, from Wooler. Don't even think it's that far. So I'll get there on time. And then I can get my job done and then I can get away. See? Up here for thinking, down there for dancing. It's all thought out perfectly well. <laughs> right. Alright, we'll go. We're heading up the top of there. It's just a little one, but you know. Let's see what we can capture. So after a short but steep climb, I'm at the top here. So all the uh, prehistoric Neolithic Roman Byzantine um, Brass Age Roman Age Bronze Age Iron Age Fort Hill Fort Graveyard Coming up here before like now you like I say it's just a quick overnighter for the, for the job tomorrow which is dead handy so the sun's going down over there but it's a bit it's a bit uh, well, it's gone really, it's too cloudy. There's no point in even mentioning it. <sighs> what a nightmare. Oh, could have been so nice. put that in but look I've got company Tom would love this moo cows brown cows I can't see any coughs hopefully they'll stop over there and these rocks will stop them coming up but there is evidence that they've been up here such as right, here we are anyway we're pitched don't know what I'm doing bringing this out. I've never had this out for a while. Last time I had it, it was in a blooming gale force. It's gone up well. That's gone up really well. There's loads of space inside tonight. So I'm going to get set up here and then uh, show you what's what. So I've got more. Um, oh, hold on. I've got more products sent. Been waiting for getting one of these. I nearly bought one, but um, Flex Tail Gear very kindly sent one instead. The Tiny Pump 2X. This is the new one. Tiny Pump. I've opened it, but it comes all boxed like this. Um, you get a little bag for it, which is good. Instructions, which I suggest you read. Tiny Pump. Look at the size of it, it's tiny. Very simple operation, on off. Oh, you hold it, that's right. And then you get the torch. How bright, that's a good lantern. So it's double click, I think, for on. That's, that's the end. It's very powerful. So you get all these little nozzlets. Just find them up, get them out. There's loads of different types. There's loads of combinations. There's loads for like the um seat summit mats. There's them ones for whatever, whatever that fits. There's little collars that you can put on, adjust and adapt. The one I'm using, that's for the seat summit mat. I'll use that for the pillow. The one I'm using, right? You get this black 
bit there and the rubber collar and that fits the thermo rest so instead of using the pump sack which takes about six or seven minutes the pump sack you want to use this let's open it out so it goes on like so it just fits over there like that it's ready um, I don't know, I can't remember which end. One's vacuum, one's, I think that's it. So it's the end with the light on that you use. There you go, we'll just let that go. And I can be getting on with something else. This is the flex tail gear pillow the scent. I'm gonna try this. I brought me seat to summit pillow, in case this is not comfortable. But it feels comfortable. I can get it out. And get it out of the bag like that. It's a nice, feels nice. It's got a cover. It's a washable cover. Comes off. You can uh, you can take that cover off. And inside the pillow, it's got a band to strap around your mat, which is dead handy. So we'll get that blown up. This blows up the same as the Sea to Summit. So we use. Actually, it's on the. Um, that's it there. So just put that on the on the mini pump and blow that up when it's finished the mat, which is flying. A bit noisy, but you yeah. know. Ah, come on. Right, oh, that was my fault. That I knocked that off. Right. Come back when it's up. It's been going for about a minute. I'll tear that up. Let's give it a final. That's good enough for me, that. Let's see, tighten it. I've got to tighten the. I forgot to turn that, didn't I? That was my fault. I forgot to turn the, the lock. So that's up in a minute and a bit. All right, let's try this. This pillow. Ergonomic design. Change the nozzle. There you go. Oh, God, that didn't take long. We'll just finish it there like that. So you've got the valve to, uh, you can let the air out if it's too if it's too hot. But that's it, that's the shape of it. And that just straps onto the mat. Look forward to sleeping on that. So, strapped it around the mat. Sits nice and firm. Oh, it's comfortable, that. Oh, oh I I've just got to sleep now. All right, I like that. Just feels nice, it's high in the right place, low there. These pillows are a great shape. So that's Flex Tail Gear. I'll put the links in the descriptions. Been getting sent some, some pretty good stuff like. So I mean, this this pump is amazing. That takes all the work out. It takes about six minutes with the, with the pump sack. And if you blow it up with your mouth, I've noticed I've done that a few times and it's got condensation inside. I've had to dry the mat out, so the pump is the way forward and it's tiny. I don't know what I've done with it. I don't know where I've put it. It's tiny, it's got a good big light on it, dead bright light. Here we go. that fit in your pocket, that? How do you put the light on there like that? And you just hang it up. You hang it up from the, your little hook that you have in your tent. Or a carabiner or whatever, you've got uh, you can make it brighter. Oh, God, it is bright, and that bit there is magnetic. So, if you've got a magnetic tent, <laughs> I mean, it's not much use out here, magnetic, but if you're working on your car or something, you know, good little tiny pump 
X2. It's not very expensive either. And they get all them nozzles in it. To, so whatever uh, mat you've got should fit. It's got the vacuum as well, so you can vacuum the, um you just put it on the you just put the nozzle on the other end, just set it away, and it vacuums out the air so you can get it nice and flat. I don't think I'll use that, but it's there. Right, so I'm just gonna lie here. Not got much to do really. I'm just wondering about them cows. Let's see. Oh, right. Ooh. I've built it um Bear with us. Bear with us. I've built a barrier to keep the cows out because they're starting to come around. So I put some blocks out of the wall across the bit where they come in. There's only a little narrow channel where they come in. So I've blocked that so hopefully they won't get up. Um, when I leave in the morning, I'll clear it all away again. I'll just put it back to how it was. If I'm still alive, I'm being trampled to death. Tompa would never have got past the cows. Chicken casserole, look what we found. I'm gonna have that. Never had one of them for years. Chicken casserole, I remember, was always really nice. I've got me all eight torches so I can get on the lookout for things. Ooh, that's turbo mode, that's too bright. Yep, still enjoying that. It's good. Excellent bit of kit. Waterproof, I found out they are waterproof. 2300 lumens, maximum output, that's on the turbo mode. And the burn time, it, it, it stays on, but it's not recommended to keep it on turbo for too long, because it gets hot. So I've got that ready. I've got that ready with the strobe to frighten the cows off. I know it's a work night, but uh, you know. But the old Brucey, good game. Brucey Forsyth, and I've got a can of faith. And that's it. Because I could be away early in the morning, so you know. Don't want to be drinking too much. Right, so I'm going to just get me the pot ready, boil some water and have this meal. I'm sweating after moving all them rocks. What a job. Bronze age people must have been quite fit. I'm going to do a little uh, test now. So, where's Bob? This is Bob, Alpkit Bob, right? That's I'm in full brightness. Bright enough, yeah? And then you got the, the flex tail which you double click for the... No, no, you press and hold. I'll get you straight. That's it, you press and hold it. Right. And then that's the lowest setting. Step up, step up. Ooh, I think it's brighter than Bob, isn't it? Bob, flex tail. Bob off. It's hard to tell. Mm. By the way, it's good. It does it does a various amount of things? Magnetizers, so it's a work light. It's a pump and a vacuum, and it's quite a bright light. And anyway, so you step through like that. So you press and hold for the light. You charge it there to see uh, a C type C. USB port thing that charges this home. So on for vacuum, uh, on for pumping. Oh, wait a minute, how do you do it again? Double click it, man. See, with my reviews, I tend to review as I go just to see if it's easy or not. So double click and it works. Double click it for on. One click for off. Put the um, the nozzle on that end to blow your bag up or your mat or whatever. And that end there, if you want, vacuum it with that. Just double click it and vacuum it. It it takes all the air out, so it, it gets it flat. So you know when you like roll in your mat trying to get all the air out, that does away with that. But don't know if I'll ever use that because I just normally just roll the mat. But it's there. That functions there. So it does quite a bit, and it's tiny. Look at that, it fits in the palm of your hand. I like it. 
I was tempted to buy one a while back. I was watching a few reviews of them. I was tempted to buy one. And then, luckily, flex tail gear got in touch and they sent this. So, nice one, flex tail gear. Like I say, links in the description. I'm sure they've given us a discount code, so you'll get it quite cheap. £20 or something. And you get a little bag with all your various nozzles in. And I've tried on my Seat of Summit mat and pillow and the, the nozzle's there to fit and the rubber one is for your thermorest with that, with that funny thermorest valve just remember to close it off before you blow it up yeah like I didn't right well I've got Craig Charles on a download because I haven't got a signal so I'm just listening to him I'm just chilling out nice and quiet there's not a breath of wind listen to that nice <coughs> oh, <excuse me. coughs> oh, that's it. I've got the flute. Right, the other thing I was going to say is, I went to Morrison's, I bought a roll of bags. I got a roll of these for about 120. Perfect rubbish bags, look nice and thick. You just unroll one, pull it off, and you can tie handle it. Great for rubbish bags, these. You've got 20 on the roll as well, so just take off however many you need for your trip. Nice size as well, just the right size for a few cans and some bits and bobs, so good rubbish bag. Now what else? No, that's it. I'm just sitting here throwing my beam, my turbo beam. Somebody says it like, like a lightsaber in it. Oh, look at the condensation in that. Yeah, I'm going to get wet tonight, like. It is a bit lightsaberish, isn't it? It's good for keeping an eye on where the cows are. Hell of a thing. If you like torches, like I do. Oh man, condensation. That's not rain, that's condensation. Or oh, mist. Now I'm in the clouds now, like the fog. Right. Right, crack on. Well, so I'm just uh, just mucking about with lights and torches and um, light, light writing. <laughs> it's not working. It keeps coming out back to front. But this is the uh, wow, this is my night. The clouds come down, so there's no stars. You can't see any stars. All you can see is a, a giant torch beam, like a like a lightsaber so we're gonna get back in back in the tent and uh, just keep listening to the music good music Craig Charles as usual well that's where I was flat grass so all tidy all cleared up everything in my big bag and it's windy Oh, the wind's picked up now. So I'm away to Wooler to build a distillery so you can all drink whiskey from Wooler. Not actually building it like, just testing, testing the concrete. Oh, and then I've got a job, Morpeth, and then Gosforth, Newcastle, and then back to my lab. And then I'll get home for about four-ish. Half four maybe. Whew, right. So nothing exciting. And we'll see you later. Next one. Don't forget to check the links for that uh, flex tail pump, which I, I think it's great. Should have bought one years ago. Funny story. Just had a phone call. Job's been cancelled 